Hello and welcome to the fifth video of the onboarding video series to the Eclipse Data Space Connector. So in this video we are going to go through one file transfer, one actual file transfer using two connectors. We have a provider and a consumer connector and we're going to verify that a file gets actually copied one from one path to another. It is a good idea to read the accompanying onboarding document that you can find in the repository and um, the code that we're actually be using in this uh, demo here comes from the fourth example. So here we go. What you see here is three terminals. In the upper left corner we will run the consumer. You can see the file paths indicate that that's going to be the fourth example. So the consumer is actually running. Then we're running the, uh, the provider. So the, the <coughs> The two connectors are up and running, so we can actually um, initiate the file transfer. So what we do here is we we are actually submitting a REST request to the consumer's REST endpoint. So the consumer up left here listens to uh, on port 9191. So we're issuing the request to 9191. The API is file slash test document, which means we request um, the asset called test document. The connector address, that's this one, this is the provider's address. And the semantics here is please issue the uh, transfer request to this connector. And the destination then is the uh, path on the, lo on the local path on my development machine. So if we do that, um, that actually, let's actually try this. What we get in return is the ID of the transfer process. And you can see up left here that the, pro that the, con the consumer received the request. It actually forwarded it to the provider and the provider then copied the file into um, the directory. Sorry, I had a typo there. Should be EDC like this. Yeah, so received new artifact request for test document, data transfer has uh, been initiated. And we want to take a look. Now here is our test document, um, which basically contains test data. Um, let's try again, let's delete that. And here it is, again. So that's how a transfer actually happens. We can so what happens under under the sheets is the the providing uh, the, the consumer connector and the provider connector they communicate using IDS messages so the consumer sends an artifact request message over to the provider who then initiates the transfer um, and copies the file into the requested um, destination path. So thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it and see you again in the next one.